How many times have we done this now, Joel? Filled so up. Been, uh, five or six, I think. Five or six times? Yeah. Jeez. I feel like I'm in one of those TV shows where the person's fake driving and they're constantly moving the wheel. It's me right now. But I'm real driving. Can't go out anyway. The world's gone to hell. They shut down our go to place. Yeah, I know the times are hard for us all. But I can speak for everybody when I say I need something cheap and strong. So we're shift driving tonight. It's my shift. You wanna know that, what that means? You are what you drink. Esports. It's in the game. If we're all gonna be in the same boat anyway, why not make it a party? Hey, hey. Day four. Our plans changed a little bit. We got a call that they wanted us in Maryland for the People's Convoy. The People's Convoy left um, the end of February, February like 23rd, from Bakersfield, Field, California. They have been on the road for like 11, 14 days, something like that now. They made it to Maryland. Most of them made it um, today while we're, we're traveling. And we are going to be driving the 20 plus hours it takes to get there. So we are on a pretty tight schedule. Uh, we're gonna be shift driving through the night so that we can go and be a part of uh, this other convoy for a day. So since today we don't have a lot of content, I thought I would give you guys a little history on why we are here. There's a lot of reasons, like I talked about, um, flag called Freedom. Paul, who owns that flag, called and said that he, uh, he really felt like the flag needed to be a part of this convoy. We were supposed to be recording in March in Nashville and our dates got moved back to April so uh, the timeline of the convoy from Oregon matched up perfectly with the time that we ended up having off last minute. We felt like that was kind of an open door. One of the um, common themes that has been brought up a couple times in the few days that we've been out is uh, is comparing this to the pilgrims. Most people we have talked to have been called up and they decided they felt like they needed to go. The The main overarching theme in all of these other things is just the uh, is the freedom and, and, less, um, and less government regulation on the things that we're trying to do and just living our lives. When you're actually out here, you see how, um, how kind and, and compassionate everyone is and that, um, that really everyone we have come in contact with is, is really, um, is upset that we don't have pride in our country anymore. There should be one thing that we can unify under and that is our flag. We're all humans, we're all Americans. We should be able to stand together and, um, and, and be proud of that. So we have brought around Freedom, the 30 by 50 foot flag that has been around the country multiple times already. The idea of this flag is that it gets rolled out um, over the crowd and as one body, as one, as one unit of people, we hold up this flag together. At that moment, it, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you are on, it doesn't matter um, where you come from or where you stand on things. Together we can hold this flag and be unified um, in that moment and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully more than just that moment. But that is a big goal of ours, to take this flag out at these events and have that moment with everyone. It's been a really amazing thing. We're excited to see what else we can do with it on this adventure. We're getting to Maryland and this is gonna be a whole new experience for us. It's gonna be really different than what we've been doing so far. This one's gonna be a new convoy, a bigger convoy and different, different people in charge and we don't know a whole lot about what our day is gonna look like yet. Tomorrow should be a, a crazy one and we'll keep you guys updated on, on what happens. Lawn chair in a pair of shades. That front yard, it's our office today. 
We got that kiddie pool, it's keeping us cool We might be sinking, but we might as well enjoy the view So we'll get that bottom shelf, bite on nice and cold Turn up that uh, chimney, I'm I'm I have absolutely no idea where I am or where we are at all. I don't even know what state I'm in. I think maybe I'm still in Iowa. I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. Kansas anymore.